Hallelujah, hallelujah. Indeed, unto Jesus we surrender all because this Jesus has been good to us, taking care of us and bringing us together for us to be gathered in his presence. At this time, brothers and sisters, we want to prepare our hearts to enter into a time of prayer. And before we pray, I want to remind you that if you have a friend who has not joined us, just text uh, to that person and remind him that new life is on life on Zoom as well as Facebook. Let us all come together and celebrate the goodness and the mercies of God together. Let us hear the word of God from Psalm 98. I'm reading 1 to 3 before we lift up prayer unto our God. He says, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of God. If you are alive this morning and you can join us on this platform, then I can assure you it is just by the grace of God. It's in him that we live and move and walk and have our being. And so this very blessed morning, we just want to enter into a time of prayer together. We want to pray and thank God for his goodness towards us, for his mercies towards us, for how far the Lord has brought us. Let us all pray together. Wherever you are, we want to lift up prayer unto our God this morning. Let us pray together. Thank God for your life. Thank Thank God for the fact that you can move up and down. Thank God for his goodness towards you and towards your family. Thank God for the people that the Lord has surrounded you with. We want to bless the name of the Lord together in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Thank God together. We are thanking God. Almighty God, we are grateful. We are grateful to you for your goodness. We are grateful to you for your mercies. We are grateful to you for your blessings. We are grateful to you for life. We are grateful to you, oh God, for all the things that you have done and you continue to do in our lives. Those of us on this platform and those who have joined us on, on Facebook, we all come together and say thank you to you, God, for all that you have done for us. We give you praise. We give you honor and adoration. Let us pray and thank God for our mothers we are celebrating our mothers today let's thank god for our mothers thank god for your own mother thank god for the mothers even um, that you know women who have been very significant in your life let's thank god for their lives that as we celebrate this day the blessings of god will be upon them let's thank god for our mothers in the name of jesus christ we pray lord we are grateful to you for wonderful women that you have given to this church and especially um, for us as individuals we thank you for your love we thank you for this wonderful mothers that we have may your blessings continue to be upon us as we celebrate them this very blessed day in the name of jesus christ and we are still praying let's commit our service into the hands of god this morning just commit yourself into the hands of god pray that god will speak to you pray that god will do something special with you this very blessed day in the name of jesus so commit yourself into the hands of god pray for yourself pray that uh, this service will be a blessing to you pray that you will not just join us and leave the same whether you are joining us on Facebook or whether you are joining us on Zoom, pray that God will speak word to you. You will hear something from the Lord this very blessed day. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Let us pray and commit ourselves into the hands of God. Commit the service into the hands of God. Pray that the goodness and the mercies of God will be experienced this morning amongst us as we worship together. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give praise to God. We give glory to you. Father, we lift the service before you. We pray for those who are leading us. We pray for those who are joining us we pray for those who are on this platform of zoom and those who are joining us on facebook may your blessings be upon each and every one of us in this very blessed day oh god we give praise we give glory we give honor we give adoration unto you we thank you for your blessings upon us in the mighty name of jesus christ and lastly we just want to pray for those who are leading us after this prayer, Pastor Jim will summarize the prayers for us and we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So we are praying at this time and committing those who are leading us, those who are leading us with the Word of God, those who are reading the Word of God, those who are praying for us today, those who are helping us even with our music. We want to commit everybody into the hands of God. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon each and every one of us this morning. Just pray, just pray, committing all of them into the hands of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray at this time, oh God, we commit everyone in to your hands and we pray in the name of jesus that your covering will be upon us all oh god we pray that you will energize all those who are leading us this very day we pray that oh god we will hear from you today in the mighty name of our lord and our savior jesus christ let's bring our prayer to a close bring our prayer to a close 
and I will invite our dear pastor Jim Johnson uh, to say a word of prayer for us. Gracious God, meet us here as we worship. Open our hearts and our minds and our spirits to you. Transform us by the power of your spirit so that we can be your people. Amen. As we pray together today, we pray for our brothers and sisters in Africa mm. who are facing their first huge bite of the pandemic. Mm. And we pray that you will give them the strength to persevere. Amen. We pray for our church that we remain faithful to you as we're in this season of distancing. And we pray for our partner churches that as they struggle with not meeting, that they too will be able to stay faithful and grow in you. Amen. We pray for our mothers, for our grandmothers, for all of those who are raising children. We also pray for all of those who are sad today because perhaps their mother has passed. Maybe it's the first year that they're without them. And we also pray for those persons who desperately want to be mothers. Mm. But for whatever reason, it just hasn't worked. We pray your peace with them Amen. and your consolation and your strength. God, we pray for our children. We pray for all of those children who need a mother to love them. We know that there are children all over our world who their mothers have passed, their mothers struggle, their mothers work too much because they have to. And Lord, we ask that you be with those children and the people who bring wholeness to them. God, we also pray for our country as we struggle with this virus. Mm -hmm. We pray for our people that we, that you will protect us, that we will be wise, that we will do those things to keep us as safe as we can. We also pray wisdom for our leaders that they will lead us wisely to respond to this pandemic. Lord, we also pray for those who are struggling with hard economic times. Mm -hmm. There are so many folks right now, 15% or so of Americans who don't have jobs right now. Mm. There are a whole lot more who we know either are laid off or fear they're going to be laid off. And they wonder how they're going to feed their family and pay their rent. And Lord, we ask that you give them your presence and your peace. We pray that you'll bring things back around where folks can do well. Mm -hmm. And Lord, where you can use us as a church to help hurting broken people, use us, God. Amen. Right now, we look around us and we see great needs. And we don't always know what to do or how to do it. But we know that your wisdom and your love is greater than ours. And that you can work through us to do your purpose. And so now as individuals in the body of Christ and as the body of Christ together, help us commit ourselves to the task of making people whole whether it's the spiritual relationship with you or the physical needs of human beings. Help us do whatever we can to love our neighbors Amen. and to express that love to them. God, we ask all of these things in the name of one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, thy be, will done be done on earth thy as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this give day us this our day, daily, bread, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the, kingdom and, the power, and the power and the glory forever. Glory forever. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Thank you so bless much. Bless you, brothers and sisters. Yeah, thank you. May the Lord bless us all. We thank you very much for leading us in such a powerful time of prayer. Brothers and sisters, we continue our service. Uh, we're going to sing uh, uh, from our hymnal.
number two, which if you are using the Methodist hymn book, is number two. And if you are using the United Methodist hymnal, it's number 75. The song is All People That On Earth Do Dwell. We are going to sing to the glory of God. Remember to test somebody and invite him or her to join us on this platform. All people on earth do dwell. The last answer say, For why the Lord our God is good, his mercy is forever sure. His truth at all times firmly stood and shall from age to age endure. The last answer. Thank you so much indeed. It's true that all times firmly stood. Our God is with us and we are grateful to be in partnership together and to come before this God and worship in his presence. We thank you all for joining us. I want to remind you that we are live on Facebook. So if you have a friend who has to join us, you can tell him or her to join us on Facebook. You can also remind somebody that we are on on Zoom so that we all come together to worship the Lord. And we also want to know that you are with us on this platform. Whether today is your first time or you have been worshiping with us you can just test uh, to this number six two four eight eight six two four eight eight uh, you can test hi and you can just tell us the number of people with you so you just test uh, to six two four eight eight and you just say we are four or we are three for us to just know those who are on this platform worshiping with us uh, you can test to that number that is a special test center for new life so please let's do that and also if you have any prayer requests you can test to that same number uh, you can test to that same number 62488 at this very important point we want to invite our sister diana hughes uh, to read the word of god for us and it's from first samuel chapter 2 1 to 11. First Samuel chapter 2, 1 to 11. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, um, please, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. It's it's an honor uh, to read uh, Hannah's prayer today. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, um, moms-to-be, moms who mother us, whether we're your dear children or not. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to read from um, Samuel 2, uh, 1 through 10, and it's Hannah's prayer. <clears throat> Forgive me, my voice is kind of off track today. Um, okay. Then Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord, my horn is lifted high. 
My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no holy, there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is the God who knows and by him deeds are weighed. The bows of the warrior are broken, but those who stumbled are armed with strength. Those who are full hire themselves out for food, but those who are hungry are hungry no more. She who, has, she who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has had many sons pines away. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth he humbles and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seeds them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servants, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be broken. The Most High will send us from heaven. The Lord will judge and end the ends of the world. He will give strength to his king and, ex and exalt the horn from his anointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Indeed, he will give strength to his skin and continue to exalt the horns of face anointed. Thank you so much, Sister Diana, for reading so powerfully to all of us. Uh, we believe that we have been encouraged by this word of God read by our dear sister. We thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, we've come to another important part of our service today. That is our children's time. It's uh, my favorite portion of the service, children's time. And today we have uh, our dear sister Freda who will lead us and one of the children who will also uh, sing a song uh, to us. So sister Freda, if you are on, please. Hello everyone. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, sister Freda. Okay. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to the future moms, the aunties, the sisters. We thank you guys for all that you do for us. Um, if you guys can bring your kids around so we just have children's time. It's, I was speaking to one of the parents this morning and I was talking about how amazing it is um, and how we sometimes take things for granted, you know, and I miss all the kids so much. You know, I miss seeing them. I miss touching them, feeling them. And I just pray that, you know, in God's own time, everything will begin to go back to our new normal. Mm. So since today is Mother's Day, I just want to speak a little bit about Mother's Day. And um, to me, I feel like every day is Mother's Day and we should learn how to appreciate our moms, our grandmothers, our aunties. You know, there's just this thing about mothers, not saying anything about dads. You guys <laughs> are superheroes also, but um, there's just this thing about mothers and today I want us to love on our mothers I mm. want us to love on our aunties our grandparents you know everyone who has played a pivotal like role in your life I want the kids to give their their mothers an extra hug today an extra kiss today an extra love so just want to say a big thank you to all the mothers, you know, the sacrifices that you guys have made and for bringing um, these beautiful, amazing children into the world. And let's not celebrate mothers only one day out of the year. Let's celebrate them every single day. So I will go ahead and pass this on to Hazel. Hazel is one of our Sunday school kids in Alexandria. And she's going to sing a song with her family for us today. So Hazel, if you're on there, can you take it? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Hazel. Hazel. 
<laughs> Before I sing my song, I would like to say a prayer. Dear mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my family and friends. Help us through the coronavirus so that no one gets sick. Heal mm -hmm. those that are currently sick with the virus and all other diseases. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 The song I'm going to sing is Jesus Loves Me. I chose this song because Jesus loves me in so many ways. He wakes me up in the morning. He protects me and my family. He provides for my family and he cares for me because of these wonderful things. I love him so much. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Amen. 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 <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and beautiful women. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. Amen. Thank you Amen. so that much, was... Hazel. Thank you for singing that song for us. And thank You're you welcome. for also. What do you say, Hazel? You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you for reminding us that um, Jesus truly loves us all. So thank you guys. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thank you, Pastor John and Pastor Jim. Oh, thank you so much, Sister Frida. You've made our day. Sister Frida and Hazel and the Grant family, we are so excited. That was a very powerful song and a remembrance to all of us that indeed our God reigns through the mouth of the little ones. Thank you, Sister Hazel, for sharing that powerful song with all of us. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come to another important session of our worship today. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. And I want to remind you that all of us are in the presence of the Almighty God. And so, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, just with your family, let us all close our eyes as we prepare our hearts to enter into a time of prayer. You may not be heard on the, on the platform, but you can be heard wherever you find yourself. God hears our prayers. We are inviting our dear sister Bridget in Tiamua to lead us in this time of uh, intercessory prayers. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And happy, happy Mother's Day to every woman on the line. Yes. This is a time of prayer, and I want to encourage everyone that prayer works, and we mm -hmm. serve a faithful God. So if you, you join me right now, you will enter into a time of prayer, knowing that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Bible says that the righteous run into it, and they are safe. Mm. So whatever we are going through, let us be reminded that we serve a living God. As we celebrate Mother's Day, I want us to lift all mothers to God. Amen. This is a time where people are grieving. Mm. This is a time where people are struggling with their faith. Mm. But the Bible says that if we come together and we pray about something on earth, it shall be established. Mm. So let us, let us all lift women and mothers to the throne room of grace and ask for strength for them. Father, we want to pray, oh God. We thank Father you God Almighty, we bless your name and we worship you. We thank you, you. Lord God, thank for you, wonderful Father, women for that you have given into us. We thank us. you for the women that you we have blessed us with. Life, we are grateful, we Father you Lord, and we are honored to have we them in our that, lives. Father, in the we know that you are with us all, so us, Lord, Lord. You, you have strengthened our women, O God, to be in the front front, fighting this pandemic, O God. Some working as doctors, some working as nurses, O God. Some taking care of their families, Lord God. We want to thank you, God. 
mighty we thank you lord god for this wonderful women we pray for all women as we celebrate them today we pray that your blessings will be upon them those who are weak we pray that you will strengthen them god may your hand be upon all our women god we give you all the glory we pray for women who are struggling oh god we pray for women who are sick oh god we pray for women who have different things going on with them we lift them before you may you sustain your people in the name of jesus may your hand be upon our women in the name of jesus christ god may your confidence be upon our women in the name of jesus christ may they have a song to sing and to lift in the glory of your name we thank you in jesus name amen 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 I want us to continue in prayer, but right now we are lifting the nation and the world onto God's hands. Yes. We need him. We need him to heal our land. Mm. We need him to intervene with everything that is going on. It does not make sense to our logical mind, but the Bible says that what seems impossible with men mm. is possible with God. Hallelujah. So I want us to lift the nation to God. Let us also seek guidance for our leaders during this time. A lot of people are making hasty decisions, mm. but we let us pray that God will grant us, um, grant the leaders the wisdom that they need for, to guide the, um, the different countries in the world. Father, Let's we pray. want to pray, oh God, Father, in the name Lord, of Jesus, you, Father, and we want to lift the nations of the world so before you, God. We have come to a point Lord. that, Father, Father we, we know that our strength cannot have, help us. We have come Father, to a point that we that fully know that our abilities Father, cannot help us. We have come to a point that we fully know that, Father, oh God, we don't have the ability to do things, oh God, to solve our own problems. But we thank you that, Father, when we trust you, when we allow you to work through us, oh God, when you allow you to inspire us, we Lord, need you, you to grant us the land, grace Lord. to be able Father, to help heal us so that we will stay every focused challenge. on you, God. And so, Father, we lift the leaders of all over the old world so before you, God. Right leaders of nations, we present Father, them before you. We ask of God hands, that, Father, you will grant them the strength. We ask of God that your anointing will be upon them. We ask of God that, Father, you will grant them the strength. We ask of God that, Father, you will grant them the strength. We ask of God that, Father, you will influence every decision that our leaders make. Leaders of national level, leaders on international level, Leaders of God on the state level, leaders on county level, leaders of God in our various neighborhoods, we pray committing them onto your hands. The Bible says that the heart of the king is in your hands. You can turn it the way you want. May you turn the hearts of God, of our leaders of God, into days and ways that Father will bring glory and honor and help us God to come out of this place. We thank you and we bless you, Father. May you help us and you grant us the peace that we need in this country. We pray for spiritual leaders as well. Grant this wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise to God. Amen. Amen. There is power in prayer. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Yes. And whatsoever we loosen on earth is loosened in heaven. Yes. I want us to pray for the church because mm. we need God. There should be a revival of believers, people mm. who are desperately seeking after God. Mm. Let us pray that even in this pandemic season, the name of God will be exalted. Amen. Let us pray that the churches will see a revival, mm. that people will submit their hearts and their souls to God. Mm. Those who don't know him will encounter him. Mm. The leaders who are struggling in churches will have a new strength that God gives them. Let mm. us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to lift your church before you, God. You bought the church with your blood. The Bible says that even the powers of Hades cannot prevail against your church, you God. And so, Father, we lift your church before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that your covering be upon your church, you God. We pray that your anointing will be upon your church, you God. We pray that your church will truly be your hands and feet in our communities, God, in Father, in our states, in our country. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Father, for spiritual leaders we have. We, we pray, pray that, Lord God, you grant the wisdom of your people. Leaders, we pray so that you grant strength unto us, oh God. People, we pray Father, that you continue to order our footsteps, Father. We pray that you grant us the courage to stand and to declare your love in ways and through deeds that, Father, will draw many to your saving grace. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that the church will continue, oh God, to be relevant in our communities, in the name of Jesus, helping us to overcome our difficulties. We lift your church before you, God. Pray we pray that Jesus Christ will have the opportunity to gather again and to lift your name high in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O God, and commit your church members everywhere, O God. May your hand be upon us all. Quicken and strengthen us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There is no 
there is no end to the power of God. Yes. Even though we are worshiping and we are not able to see each other physically, we know that our hearts are connected, our spirits are connected. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I want us to pray that God will fill our spirits with new strength. Amen. Let us pray that God will energize us because sometimes it gets so difficult. Sometimes we lose our perspective, but the Bible says that those who wait on the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. Hallelujah. Let us ask God to fill us with his strength, with his power, that even though we are not seeing each other, God will unite us in ways that will beat our imagination. Let mm. us pray. Father, we pray in the name Jesus of Jesus Christ, Christ God, that your church will continue to be church. That we gather or not, your church will continue to be church in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that Lord God, 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 you will renew our strength, Father, God. We pray that, Father, you will renew the strength of the church. We pray that you will renew our individual and collective strength in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that, Father, your hand will be upon your church, God. We will be inspired to stand and to declare the good of Jesus Christ. We pray that revival, oh God, will begin as never before in your church throughout the world. Your church will stand, oh God, and declare the love of Christ in the name of Christ. Let your hand be upon upon your church, O oh God. So, Father, we pray that, Father, many, many people will be raised, O oh God. New generation us, of faithful believers us, will be raised, O oh God, Lord, amongst Lord, your church. And that, Father, we will stand for the truth and we will stand, O God, to allow your spirit to work within us, O God. That through us, you will draw many to yourself. Through us, O God, you will men brokenhearted. Through us, O God, you will draw people unto your loving grace. We thank you and bless you, God. We give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God. In Jesus name. There are two people. There are those who are pessimistic and those who are optimistic. Mm. We have essential workers working on our behalf, trying mm. to make life as easy as possible, even in this difficult time. Mm. I want us to lift those brave people and men and women to the hands of God. Mm. Let us ask for strength. Let us ask for protection. Mm. Let us ask for grace for them, that God will caress their faces with grace, that mm. no evil shall befall them. Mm. If you know any essential worker, just lift that person to God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O God, for men and women who are in the forefront fighting this pandemic, O God, we bring them before the throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, O God, for your protection for themselves and their families, O God. We pray, Father, for courage for them. We pray, Father, for your favor, O God, to surround them. We pray that you will order their footsteps in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you will meet their individual needs as well, O God. We pray that as they dedicate their lives to serve others, so God, they will also be met. They Lord will also experience your love and goodness and blessings and blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we commit your people so unto your hands, oh God. We pray for all the frontline workers, oh God, those who are working in the grocery Jesus. shops, those who are working, oh God, in the hospitals, working, Father, elsewhere. May your blessings be upon your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Meet your people where we need you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is so much going on. Before mm. I end, I want us to pray against any sort of panic, paranoia. Mm. Mm. As believers, we know that our hope is in the Lord. Yes. And his word says that he didn't give us a spirit of fear, mm. but rather he gave us a spirit of power and of sound mind. Mm. He also gave us love. So let us pray against any form of attack that mm. is being waged against our families. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are watching on TV, I want you to believe that God is able yes. and put your trust in it. Don't believe what people are saying. Believe that the one who created heaven and earth has your back. He has you in the palm of his hand. Hallelujah. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. So right now, I want us to pray against any form of paranoia. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Your word to us is that you did not give us spirit of fear, but you gave us spirit of power and of sound mind. Bible tells us that we should be anxious of nothing. But in every situation with prayer and supplication, we should let our requests be known to you, God. We pray for your people. We ask that in the midst of uncertainties, in the midst of panic, in the midst of fear, you will grant us the grace to stay grounded in you, hoping and holding on to you. We pray that our uncles will hold, God, because our uncle is not father being held by things of men, but being held by you, almighty God. We pray in the name of Jesus, let your people be grounded, God. Help us to trust you. Help us to depend on you. Help us to be reminded that even though we walk through the valley of the the shadow of death, we are not alone, because you thou you. act with Father, us, O oh God. You, you will never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God. So we pray and commit your people unto your hands. Lord. Heavenly in Father, rule Lord. and overshadow us. Amen. Meet us where we need you. Bless Amen. and sustain us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name.
Amen. Amen. The effective heaven prayer of the righteous avails much. I want to give this opportunity to everyone, mm. whatever you're going through, just lift it up to him. We serve a prayer answering God. Yes. If he was able to make the sun stand still for Joshua, I know he mm. can do even more for you. Hallelujah. So just lift your secret prayers to God. Mm. Father, you know us more than we do ourselves, oh God. At this time, Lord, we present our individual requests before you, oh God. Your word to us is that we should ask and it shall be given unto us. We should sink and we'll find. We should knock and the door will be opened to us, oh God. We know that you are with us at this moment, Father, meeting us, oh God, blessing us, oh God, touching lives, oh God, drawing people unto yourself, oh God. Father, removing anxieties and granting us courage and boldness for us to stand and to do things to the glory of your name. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus, committing every need every need that is being poured every name that is being said mentioned God we present them all before you God every issue that father we are struggling with we present them all before you in the name of Jesus Holy Father meet us oh God Holy Father touch your people oh God Holy Father bless your people oh God Holy Father encourage your people oh God Holy Father move mightily in the lives of your people this very blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh God let me speak better God Father let us not leave here the same we thank you that your prayers are in God in Jesus' Amen. name. It is well with our souls. In Amen. Jesus' name, God has heard us and he meet us exactly where we need it. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Bridget, for leading us in such a very powerful time of prayer. Brothers and sisters, we serve the prayer answering God. I believe that God has heard our prayers. We will have uh, time for individual prayers. And uh, if you have any special prayer, you can test it to the number 62488. Any special individual prayer, you can test it to 62488. And after the exhortation, we will all pray together and lift those uh, request before our God. Brothers and sisters, when we pray to God, he hears us. And we know that the Lord has heard us and will continue to hear us. Thank you, Sister Bridget. Brothers and sisters, we want to hear the word of God. We want to prepare our hearts to receive the message that comes from on high. But before that, we have our dear sister, Akia, who is also a mother with us, who is going to uh, sing to the glory of God. And afterwards, our sister Angela will share the word of God with us. So, Sister Akia, if you are on, please. Preparing our hearts to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Can you hey, hear me? Yes, we can hear you now, Sister Akia. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. <clears throat> Um, this is, I'm going to sing a, a group of songs that are very inspirational to me. They inspire me on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. And it's my prayer that as I sing, you all will be inspired. And um, as mothers, we will find solace in, in the word of God and we'll be able to raise um, the children God has blessed us with um, so that they will grow in wisdom, in stature, and they will, they will gain favor with God and favor with man. Amen. Mm. Amen. <clears throat> Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who led us all that a land could rescue the souls of man. Oh, you rescue the souls of men, and you are the one that we pray. You are the one we adore. Who gave the heat and sunlight, our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for you are the one that we pray. You are the one we adore. You gave the healing and grace. Our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for the Lord, oh my soul, 
Oh, my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Holy Lord, all the goodness I will sing your praises. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to sing. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh, oh my soul. We worship His holy name. Seems like never before. Oh, my soul, we worship Your holy name. Yes, we will worship Your holy name. Yes, we'll worship your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Sister Kia, uh, supported by our Sister Afia. And then the pastor also came in a letter. We give glory and honor to our God who is always with us. Indeed, we need to bless the Lord all our soul because it's in him that we all live and move and walk and have our being. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, today is a Mother's Day. And we have one of our mothers who is going to share the word of God with us. Uh, it's our own dear sister, Angela Obin, who happens to be, not my roommate, but happens to be my wife as well. I'm excited to um, uh, introduce to you our dear sister, Angela, who is going to share the word of God. Sister Angela, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is good. All the time. All the time, God is I'll, good. Amen. Yeah. I want to thank God for this very special moment that we are celebrating our mothers and all women all over the world today. Um, it's a blessing um, to be a mother and also to be a woman in this day and age. Mm. And I want to, before I start, I want to thank our pastor, my pastor, and also my awesome husband, <laughs> the leaders of the church, the women's ministry leaders, for the opportunity to share God's word with everyone online, on Facebook, or whatever social media you're using. Uh, for most of you who know me, um, I like one-on-one -on -one talk, um, and I also like to be in the background. So I really feel very humbled um, on this special Mother's Day Thanksgiving service to share God's word and his love with us all. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, it is written that where two or three are guarded, you are in our midst. I commit this moment to you and invite you to take charge. Lord, I ask that you may speak through me and use me to bless and encourage everyone guarded to hear you speak to them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all those who have already led us and it really solidified what I wanted to share today with everybody online. And we started this program, like we wanted to celebrate the women's ministry leaders, but it, I want to celebrate this week as Mother's Day weekend. So we started on Friday with prayer meeting that we did awesome leading and we talked about Dorcas and used that message on Dorcas to really share how God used the um, um, Dorcas in her, in her life and also to bless the people around her. That when she also needed it, uh, God did the impossible. She was raised to life so she could continue the good ways. On Saturday, we had a really an awesome time also online, the mother and daughter chat. Oh my, it was really wonderful. Mm. And I want to thank all those who really joined the line. I, even, I want really especially thank um, 
our brother, brother Adu JC, uh, for the message said and using Abigail and also speaking to the fact that mothers make the home sweet. Mm -hmm. And when mothers are not at home, there's something missing and that is really true. So as I was preparing and meditating for this message today and to share, something dropped in my spirit and it was a mother's unique role in God's kingdom and mm -hmm. in this world that we find ourselves in as a way of us honoring mad women all over the world. So it don't know me like from creation to date, women as women we have and continue to shape how things should be. <laughs> Interesting, it may not seem sometimes like that in society's world being, but that is really the truth um, from every aspect of life. And I pray that today's message encourages every person, especially women, young or old, that you were not born by chance mm -hmm. and that you have a key to unlock greatness and potentials in you, around the people around you and in God's family. It doesn't matter whether you are married or not, you've given birth or not, or whatever circumstance that you may find yourself, you have the key. And how to use this key is to just ask God Amen. about his role for you and recognizing your role. So I hope by the end of this message, we can understand our unique role and how to use the key to unlock potentials around us and within us. Mm. I'll say this is no new news. Like it's, it's something that we, are already, we already have and it's something that we've been doing. And probably this unique role, sometimes we take it for granted uh, due to social, uh, societal and cultural influences. And probably on how we sometimes as women, we see ourselves or even as females, as we see ourselves in the world. But I want us to remind us that we are just passing through this world. As Christians, we are just passing through this world. This is not a place. And therefore we have a plan. God has a plan and he said in Jeremiah, so I know the plans I have for you even before you were born. And sometimes we have to seek that plan. And just to emphasize on the role, as women, we play a lot of different roles in life. For some of us, these roles may start very early in life. Like for instance, we may start being, playing the role of being a natural, a teacher or a caregiver, either as a big sister or just by the fact virtue that you are the oldest or the only female in the family. So you play this role or step into this role to be your sibling. I remember as a child being the oldest, I often had to do things for my younger siblings. And sometimes I remember I resented it because I didn't understand why I had to do all those things. But hindsight and even preparing for this, it dawned on me that, hey, that was a unique role I alone could really play because I could do what my mom did because I'd learned or my mom had showed me how to do that. And sometimes we may also step into these shows intentionally or indirectly indirectly, either by taking this role on as a career or maybe a mission uh, or on us, or we feel burdened to do that and adopting or fostering children, male, female. And we don't sometimes give much thought to this when we are really doing this role because we take it for granted or it's given or it's something that it comes naturally to us. And I, I guess all women can relate to that when you, when you get to a certain age, it comes naturally for you to nurture, to teach, to mold, to be a caregiver um, to others. And, and I want to really encourage that we all, women, mothers or not, to continue to ask ourselves, what is our unique role in the God's kingdom? We also do have different abilities that I, I, I also, as I was preparing, identified. We are able to re refine things that are broken. We are able to stabilize things when there's chaos. We are able to reshape, build. We are able to support our partners, our husbands, our children to achieve their goals. We are able to encourage. We are able to influence people. And this we do every day 
every time, yearly, weekly, daily, from when, from the cradle to adulthood. It is not something that we do. And we do this into really enabling the people around us to achieve this great greatness. And it doesn't matter whatever it is. We probably see this ability of us as just given and probably we take it for granted. But today I want to encourage us all that this ability have not, have not been given to us just by chance or that it comes naturally. It's from our creator, it's from God who made us. If we go to Genesis, he, he really refined the woman and made the woman that you to be a partner. And without the woman, it, it's presumed that certain things could not come into fusion. And all this was for God's glory. Everything unique role that we play, it is for God's glory. It is not for our glory. Sometimes it's unfortunate that we take these abilities for granted and we take our focus off God and focus on ourselves. And it is when we, if we really can reflect back, when we do that, we struggle to fulfill these rules to God's glory. So I want us to really take a step back as we celebrate Mother's Day and as a woman to reflect on that and to see yourself as what is the unique role God will want me to play. The Bible has a lot of powerful women's stories that mm -hmm. illustrates each of these rules and even more and how in each of them, God's glory was revealed. For example, on Friday, we talk about the zeal of Dorcas and how, he, um, how his work and the grace he attended to his work really enabled the community lab that he catered for the needs of others people. We also do that. And um, when she died, everybody was taken aback, but for God's glory to be revealed, Paul was able to bring her back to life. Mm -hmm. And we also talked about the fact that in our lives, sometimes things might be dead mm -hmm. and we need to really go ask God to bring those things to life. And our sister in praying today, leading us in prayer, talk about how prayer is really wonderful and it's the key. Mm -hmm. Also, yesterday, our, our brother shared about Abigail, the wise, intelligent woman. That's how she described how she saved her mean and bad-tempered husband, Nathan, mm -hmm. and family from Davy saw, because she saw that what her husband did wasn't right in the sight of God, and took it upon herself to meet David and provide for his men. Mm -hmm. When his husband I received, she changed the course of history and made, and may we also continue to use our gifts and talent to restore the lost to energize the weak and bring joy to so many. Hallelujah. This is something that God has given to us as women that we mm -hmm. play. We step into the role and make things new and refine things and we should not take it for granted. Mm -hmm. However, I want us to look at, our, at the, story of, the story of Hannah from our reading today and reflect on Hannah's story and her family circumstance and how when she decided to ask God to take charge the changes that happened. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we could all relate to Hannah and Finehas' um, situation. Hannah and her rival had a caring husband who, I, who seemed to have been nurtured well by a mother to be kind hearted. Mm -hmm. And he made sure that he provided everything. Then just my husband does that daily and day out and I give thanks to God for him. And, and I think sometimes what he does also brings the good in me. And I'm very sure you all online can relate to your brothers, your, your husbands, your um, men in your lives who always bring the good out, out in you. But you realize in the story, Hannah was not satisfied. Mm -hmm. His husband's um, provision was not enough uh, for her. Um, she was really consumed by the circumstance that she found herself in. And also things even got worse for her that she only focused on her inability to, to bear a child because of uh, her rival teasing her, Pinias, teasing her and making her feel like she had nothing to contribute mm. to the family or to God's body as a whole. Um, even though she was giving what she needed, she felt limited. She felt she, the, her support from her husband was not good enough. Sometimes people will try to help us, mm. but this support may be inadequate to meet our needs. Mm -hmm. And I pray that we may in times of need receive appropriate and relevant help for 
us to be able to fulfill our destiny. Amen. And we will not be so headstrong or so look bent deep in our situation that we fail to see that we have a key to unlock something in our situation. Yes. I realized that Hannah's circumstance changed when she decided to use the key given to her. Mm -hmm. And her prayer was answered in multiple folds. Mm -hmm. It is written that Hannah had Samuel and she dedicated him to God. Mm -hmm. And she also had six other children, all to Hallelujah. the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Hannah's prayer in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 10, as our dear sister Diana read today, highlights what Hannah realized when she used her key, she prayed and reap the benefits of letting God be in charge. Mm -hmm. We also can relate to that, to the prayer. And I'll encourage everybody to take a moment and to read that verse again and ask yourself, what can I relate to this prayer? Mm -hmm. This prayer, Anna said, after she had, God has fulfilled her promise to her. And after she has played her role, um, we could relate to the joy we feel when we, a child is born. And mm -hmm. for every milestone that that child accomplished, we, or that we initiated, that we taught them, that we encouraged them. We could relate to the pride we also have when that child walks in the way of God mm. and go on to influence change. As Paul, in his letter to Timothy, gave thanks to Tim Timothy's grandmother and mm. mother for really teaching him in the God's way so that he also became a powerful preacher, a powerful man of God. We could also relate to Anna's prayer in terms of he are acknowledging God's protection, provision for people, for his faithful people, for people who are faithful to him. Mm -hmm. So she acknowledged that it is God who puts people in places of honor. Mm. It is God who humbles some and makes some great. It is God who humble, it is God who she is a humble servant to. And she recognized that in her thanksgiving prayer, after dedicating some more to God the unique role she played in that process. She felt blessed and gave glory to God. She took no credit for that. Mm -hmm. I want us all women all over the world and all those hearing my voice to rec recognize that it is not by chance. Yes. We all have a unique role from childhood to adult. We may even not recognize it as we're growing up, but as we grow up and we begin, to, let us also take on the challenge to be part of the process mm -hmm. and to give glory, God glory. Hannah prayer should remind us as us or mothers or sisters in Christ that we have been endowed with unique role in this world mm -hmm. and in God's kingdom that only women can fulfill this role. I'm not saying men also, you have your role, <laughs> but uh, women, we have a special role and we need to keep our eyes on God. Mm -hmm. We have to walk with God in order to unlock these potentials Hallelujah. that we've been endowed with. This greatness mentioned in Hannah's prayer, in our children we bear, as, as we also take care of our siblings, adopted children, nephews, nieces, fostering and mentoring young and old to advance God's kingdom. And Sister Frida shared today about aunties. To today, the children loving on all the aunties mm -hmm. and all the um, sisters they have and their mothers. And this is an everyday thing that we should. And we should teach our children to recognize that. We need to allow God to use us even more now in this period that we find ourselves. Yes. With 90. Majority of us are fourth liners in various places at home as teachers, encouragers, peacemakers, comforters, making the home environment sweet and nurturing for all of us to get through this pandemic. It is challenging and sometimes overwhelming, but we, I want to encourage you all that you have the ability and strength to do this. Let's turn to our creator and ask him for direction. God will, who answered Anna will surely meet your needs. Please let us recognize our unique role in this world mm -hmm. and not take it for granted. We bear, we give birth and nature great people from pastors to kings mm -hmm. and more. We have the key and continue to turn and continue and we have to continue to turn this key to our God and be encouraged that no matter what, no matter the circumstance or life state that we are in, we are going to use this key. We will unlock greatness and potentials in ourselves as well as the people we come into contact with. 
and our blessment. I want to thank all mothers who really take on the role of fostering and taking out children who are needing homes or needing mothers and take them on and to mentor them, to nurture them and to teach them and to make them feel like that mother's love that we all sometimes desire. Mm. Make sure we all sometimes have a mother who steps into this show for us. Mm. Let us continue to pray to God daily. Let's ask him, what is the unique role you want us to play mm. in our life, in our marriage, in our children's life, mm. in our, at our workplace, in his kingdom, in his church? Mm. Let us share our blessings with each other. Mm-hmm. Let us <coughs> purposely continue to teach nature and model for others yes. from the womb through infancy to adulthood, mm-hmm. the ways of our Lord Jesus Christ and the ways of our Lord. Let us be determined mm-hmm. to use the key prayer, no matter what, or no matter where you find yourself, by walking with God so that His purpose and plan for generations to come can be fulfilled. Hannah found herself in a difficult situation and allowed the circumstance around her to get to her. But when she turned to God and she recognized her unique role in the process, uh, how she could play in God's, that role she could play in God's kingdom and God's role in her life, everything changed. Yes. She prayed using the key and unlocked the potential within herself, as well as others in her, around her. She gave birth to Samuel, as the Bible read the book of Samuel, who she nurtured. And Samuel grew up to be one of the powerful leaders of, in God's kingdom, to serve in God's kingdom. We also have that ability to do yes. that, to bring up greatness in people around us, in ourselves, and people we encounter. So I pray, may God be with us in all our endeavors as women. Amen. May we remember to use the key, giving us always to effect change, to care, to unlock potentials within us, around us, for the advancement of God's kingdom and for his glory. It is only for his glory. Amen. I want to wish every mother, every woman, happy Mother's Day. And we appreciate all the support of all the men in this endeavor. May God bless us all. Amen. 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 I will invite Pastor John to lead us in a time of prayer for all women. And if you have any special prayer request, as has already been mentioned, please test it to the chats or to 62488. Thank you all for joining me today. And thank you for allowing me to share what was burning on my heart today. Amen. Amen and amen. That's a powerful word. It is a powerful word. Thank you so much, our dear sister and my wife, Angela, for sharing the word of God with us. Brothers and sisters, our sister reminded us that we have the key. And we need to use the key to unlock what God is about to do or what God is doing in our lives. You have the key to unlock greatness in people and in your own life. You have the key to play your own special role in the body of Christ and in society. And we want to thank God for this wonderful word and for all the women that God has given to us in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to enter into a time of prayer. We are going to pray for our mothers. I will say some prayers. And afterwards, if you have a special prayer request, you can test it to 624. 488 and we all pray together we're praying for our mothers let us close our eyes and pray together let us pray for our mothers let's pray for our mothers the blessings of god upon our mothers if your mother is alive i want you to heap blessings upon her in the name of jesus christ maybe your mother is not in this country your mother is back home in ghana your mother is somewhere in uh, other states your mother is somewhere that you know it's not connected to you right now but i want you to lift your mother before god bless your mother pray for your mother pray for strength pray for energy pray for God's blessings to be upon your mother. Let us pray. It may may not be your uh, uh, mother, biological mother, but a significant woman in your life. Mention her name and pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for our mothers. We are praying for our women. We are praying for wonderful, significant women in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Some of them are not feeling well. Those who are sick amongst us, let us pray for God's healing grace to touch them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for them. Those who are not well, pray for them. Pray for God 
God's healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are not working, they are mothers who want to get some job to do uh, to take care of their children and they are not working. Some of them are not satisfied in the work that they are doing. We want to pray for them that God will give them fulfillment and God will open doors of opportunities for them to even have jobs to do to take care of their families. We are praying for mothers in the name of Jesus. Lift them before God. Lift them before God. Pray for God's blessings for our mothers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. There are people who are also trying, doing their best to become mothers. Some people are trusting God to have children. We want to pray for such ones. We want to pray that God will keep them. God will open that door for them. In this church, God has blessed us with wonderful children. Those who are trusting God to get pregnant, we pray that God will open that door for them. Pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus at this time. We are lifting them all before God in the name of Jesus. There are people who are also pregnant, pregnant women in our church and in our circle of influence. Let's lift them before God. We pray that God will take care of such ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. If you know somebody like that, lift that person before God. Those who are preparing themselves, who are pregnant and are getting ready to give birth, we want to pray that God will grant them smooth even uh, time of uh, giving birth in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for them in Jesus' name. Let us also pray for single moms that God will be with them, provide and strengthen them. You know, a single mom, pray for that person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, pray for single moms. We pray for them in Jesus' mighty name. We give glory and honor to our God. And we have some who do not have their own children, but they have been so instrumental in the lives of many. We know a lot of them. I know people who do not have their own biological children, they are, but they are more than mothers. Let's pray for such ones. Pray for God's blessings to be upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. We give glory to you, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you for our mothers. If you have any special prayer requests, pr please send it to me. We have about two more minutes to finish our prayers. If you have any special requests, let us pray and pray for ourselves, pray for God's blessings. I have received a prayer request. Let us pray for self, love, peace, family here and in Ghana and outside. And let's pray for mental health. We pray for good mental health for all of us. We are in a very anxious moments uh, of life. Let us pray that God will grant us good mental health and will take care of us, will grant us the peace and self-love that we need. We are also praying and committing into the hands of God uh, other requests of our people, some of whom have not been able to share, but they have requests in their hearts. They might have asked you even for special prayer. Let's lift all such ones before God in the name of Jesus Christ. We are also praying for mothers whose children have gone astray and from the Lord. Let us pray for such one. If you know someone, you know a mother whose children have gone astray and they are trying to get them back. They are trying to get them back home. They are trying to get them back to the Lord and they are finding it difficult. Some people are not even talking terms with their, with their parents, with their mothers. We want to pray for such ones in this moment. May the hand of God touch such ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for our mothers. We're praying for our mothers. Let us bring our prayers to a close in the name of Jesus Christ. We give glory and honor to you in the name of Jesus. And I will say a word of prayer. Uh, please just listen to this uh, prayers that I'm saying for our mothers. This is a special prayer for our mothers. Now for our mothers who have given us life and love, that we may show them reverence and love, we pray to the Lord for these ones. Mothers who have given us life and love, we pray that the blessings of God will be upon them. We also pray for our mothers who have lost a child through death, that their faith may give them hope and their family and friends support and console them. We pray for such ones, such ones who have lost loved ones and have lost their children. We pray for them. May the blessings of God be upon such mothers in the name of Jesus. For women, though without their own children, who have, like mothers, have nurtured and cared for us, we pray for them. We pray for women who have not their own biological children but are more than mothers. We pray the blessings of God even for such women. We also pray for mothers and for women who have been unable to be a source of strength, who have not responded to their children and have not sustained their families. We pray for them. There have been mothers who have neglected their children. We pray for such women as well. May the blessings of God be upon them. May the Lord turn their hearts, even of the mothers and the daughters and the sons together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for all other women who have helped and supported in diverse ways. May the blessings of God be upon such ones. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. 
Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. May the blessings of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon us and especially upon our mothers. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We we'll invite a representative from the men's ministry to say a word uh, to our women and afterwards we'll take our offering. Brother Adu Jesse. Amen. 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 And good morning, church. Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well and happy Mother's Day to all our beautiful mothers and wives. And on behalf of the men's ministry of the United Methodist Church New Life, I once again say happy Mother's Day to the women of UMC New Life. Amen. The women are better half of the men. So if we join together, we become one mm -hmm. and we become the church. Today is a special day for the women. And we, the men, wish you the best for the special things that you've been doing for this church. The women, we thank you for always coming to the aid of the church when there is any special occasion. Mm -hmm. And today, I am praying that all the women in this church will love their husbands and their children. Amen. For God is love. And if God is love and we are following the footsteps of our God, then we should love each other. Today, too, I am praying that God should give the woman the respect of Sarah. Mm. Sarah was very respectful to Abraham. And if he called Abraham her husband, Lord. So I want all the women to put this respect in their heart. Mm -hmm. God also should give the woman the courage of Prophetess Deborah, Amen. who was able to lead an army to conquer Jabe, king of the Canaanites. So the woman, I want you to have that courage. Amen. I want the woman to, to have the faith of Hannah. Mm. Sister Angela said so many things about Hannah. And I had wanted to delete it, but I said, since I've prepared it, we want this woman mm -hmm. of new life to have faith. Nothing is impossible with God. Yes. All things are possible to him. So if you need something and you pray and it doesn't happen, continue to pray. Amen. And I'm saying today that nobody should underestimate the power of prayer. Yes. God answers prayer. And once again, on behalf of the men's ministry, we are saluting all the frontline women in the church. Amen. Doctors, the nurses, the hospital workers, ambulance operators, whatever you are in the front line, we the men. We salute the women. Amen. And we wish the women happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, brother, uh, brother and our daddy, Abu Jesse. I think that you are spoken for all of us. Happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. So today you have to take your wife somewhere. You may not take her to a special restaurant because some of the restaurants are not open, but you can take her for a walk. 
and you come home and then you give a special treat to your wife or to your uh, the woman in your life. Let us all do that to the glory of God. Today, they are not going to cook. We are going to cook. Uh, I pray that we'll cook well and then make sure that the food is something that our, our mothers and our women can enjoy. We appreciate this wonderful woman in our lives. If you are on this line for the first time, you can also test to 62488 and just say hi. I'm here for the first time so that we can connect to you after the service, uh, 62488. If you are on this line for the first time or you have been coming, but we have not um, gotten in touch with you, you can test to 62488. This is the time for us to give our offering. This church, you help so much with our offering. Uh, we are supporting our communities and we are supporting people around us. So brother Amos will play for us as we prepare to give our offering uh, to the glory of God. Uh, we can give it uh, via Zelle, uh, you can give it uh, via PayPal, Cash App, uh, you can give it through um, uh, Vemno, you can also give it through um, Google Wallet. So wherever you want to send uh, us your check, uh, even through the, the mail, you can do that as well. Let us all give. We have two minutes uh, to give our offering and we take announcement and we'll be out of here. So brother Imos. Also give your offering on our website. You go to go give a donation. You can give an offering. Thank you for those who are sending your offering. We appreciate that. We're celebrating our mothers. And also giving our offering to the glory of God. If you have any, you need any support too, please let us know. We'll be happy to support you. We want to be there for one another. You send your checks to uh, New Life at Fairfax, New Life at Alexandria. Fairfax address is 10 300 Stratford Avenue, Fairfax. The address for Alexandria is 845 North Howard Street, Alexandria. One more minute, one more minute, and we'll finish with our offering. Thank you to those who have sent your offering. The good thing about this is that as soon as you send the offering, it shows in our email, and I can see it here. And I can see some of you sending us monies. May the Lord bless you all. We appreciate that. You are being generous. May the Lord bless us. Thank you so much, Brother Amos. Thank you, all those who have sent in your offering and those who are about to send. Even after service, you can take your time and send in your offering. If you need help in how to set up the, um, the platform, the offering um, platform, how to join, you can contact our brother, Richard Mensah, or our sister, Fafa, or our sister, Mabel. You can also contact me. We will direct you how to set it up. It's very simple because some of you are asking, how do I send in my money? Uh, we can help you to do that. May the Lord bless each and every one of us and as we uh, give to the glory of God. Let us pray over our offering. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you that all good and perfect gifts come from above. We thank you for an opportunity for your church to give, to support the work, the ministry that you have entrusted into our hands. As we give, you have a way of blessing us. Your word to us is that good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over what men give to our bosom. May you provide according to your riches and glory. May you open the windows of heaven and pour on us blessings that we will not even have room to contain. May we always have more to give and to take care of ourselves and to take care of people around us. We thank you. 
for this and all the many blessings you pour on us. If there is anyone amongst us who is struggling with finances, Lord, I present that person before you. May you open that door for that person as well. Increase us to God that we will always have a cause to say that God, you have been good to us. We thank you for this and all the many blessings you give us. May your blessings be upon our mothers and upon all of us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless us all. We'll invite our dear sister Abby to give us the announcement and then we will prepare our hearts to sing the closing hymn. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. You know it's a great day. It's a great day when Pastor doesn't call me Sister Mabel. <laughs> what a Mother's Day miracle. Hi, everybody. It's great to connect with all of you virtually. I woke up with so much excitement in my heart. And I'm just grateful for all of the mothers in the church. We stand on your wings and we stand on your shoulders. So thank you so much in all the ways that you have held us up and you have held us when we were down. The, we don't have a lot of announcements this week, but shout out to the men's ministry who are organizing a financial seminar on May 23rd. When I saw the fire coming from Sister Mabel, I said to myself, what a privilege it is to be a part of a church that not only cares about my spiritual health, mm -hmm. but also my financial health. And as Christians, we know that we are supposed to be good stewards of the money that God gives us so he can bless us with more. You can refer to the story of um, the story in the story in the Bible where God gave three people different talents and only the ones who steward were good stewards over the money that God gave them actually received more. And so let's all support the men's ministry just as they supported us yesterday. Um, Mr. Adujesi's sermon on Abigail was so, so inspiring. And today's sermon on Hannah is also equally inspiring. And um, as far as the children's ministry is concerned, they would not be meeting today. We want all them babies to spend time with your mother. So there will be no children's ministry, um, children's meetings today. It would resume next week, Sunday, right up to church. So that will be at 1 p.m. And the youth also meet every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. I'm not on there. I've never been on there, but the few times where I have been, in the Arthur household, I have felt the energy and makes me low low key wish that I was I was a youth. So please encourage your kids to wake up early and to be blessed by the various teachings and sermons that come from the various youth leaders. Our weekly meetings are so as they are. We no longer have the excuse of you know what is being demanded. God has distanced us from the distraction mm -hmm. so we can focus on him. So please make it a point on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays to at least commit to participating in a few. And from the bottom of my heart, happy, happy Mother's Day to all of you. And I love you all very much. Have a blessed week. Thank you so much, Sister Abby. Thank you so much. Uh, may the blessings of God be with you. And brothers and sisters, as uh, Sister Abby mentioned, we have a special program coming on the 23rd of um, this month, uh, the financial seminar. It will be from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, we will send you a lot of information. It's a very special program that we are organizing. We know a lot of people are going through some hardship in this uh, COVID-19 and time of pandemic. And so we want to encourage ourselves and want to learn something about how we can be good stewards of what God has given us and how we can also look to God for other avenues to be open and so please uh, be part of this program it's not this saturday but next saturday the 23rd let us all come together thank you so much for all that you do for the church we will pray for some of our friends who are not feeling well uh, there are some who are not feeling well after they close in uh, him uh, we will pray for them and uh, pray that the healing grace of God will touch them. Some are not even feeling well, but they came on this program and then have been part of the program. And we pray that after this program, may the anointing and the healing grace of God touch them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we will pray for them after the closing hymn. I will say a word of prayer for all those amongst us who are not feeling well. Our closing hymn is uh, from Methodist hymn number 431. And if you are using the United Methodist hymn number, uh, it's uh, 384, UMH 384. Love divine, all loves excelling. And we invite our brothers uh, Manford and Chuck together with Sister Judith and our special choir from St. Andrews to sing to the glory of God. 431 of the Methodist hymn book.
Finish then thy new creation, pure and spotless let us be. Let us see thy great salvation perfectly restored in thee. Change from glory into glory, till in heaven we take our place, till we cast our crowns before thee, lost in wonder, love, and praise. The last stanza. Amen and amen. Thank you very much, Brother Chuck, Brother Mumford, and Sister Judy for leading us. Brothers and sisters, we want to have our closing prayer. I want you to commit yourself into the hands of God before you leave. Pray for yourself. Pray that this week will be full of the blessings of God for you. Pray that God will lead you as you go through this week. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family in the name of Jesus Christ. And pray for those who are not feeling well. There are some who are not feeling well uh, amongst us. Some could not join us. Some have joined us, but they are still not feeling too well. We want to pray for the healing message, the healing grace of God for such ones in the name of Jesus. Just pray for them. If you have someone who requested prayer from you, lift that person before God as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you that you are God who loves us. We thank you for your goodness and for your mercies and for your blessings in the name of Jesus. Let's bring our prayers to a close and I'll say a word of prayer. Almighty God, Bible says that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies, oh God, you dwell in these bodies, oh God, weak bodies, fragile bodies. And so, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for those who are not feeling well amongst us. We lift them before you. Those who are on this platform with us, those who are on Facebook, and those who could not even join us, we present them before the throne of grace this very blessed afternoon. We ask that, oh God, the healing virtue from you would touch them. You are the God who heals our diseases. Bible calls you Jehovah Rophi, the Lord, our healer. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your healing grace will run through us, oh God. And that, Father, you restore us to full health in the name of Jesus. I commit all the other needs of your people before you. We thank you that you are able to do much more abundantly about what we ask or think. As we go through this week, we pray that you will be ahead of us. You will be in charge of all that we will do. And you will work all things, the good, the bad, and the ugly for our good. We resist every work, every move, every trick, every manipulation, and every plan of the evil one against us as individuals, as a family, and even as your church. We come against any work of the evil one. Bible says that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you're loosing on earth is unloosing in heaven. Therefore, we bind any activity of the evil one against us. And we pray that the blessings of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will be upon us and will surround us and our families. And now unto the one who can keep all of us from falling and present us faultless before the throne of God with rejoicing 
to the only wise God who has given us such wonderful, beautiful women and mothers. May this God bless and keep us. May this God make his face shine upon us and give us peace. May this God work all things for our good. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and the people of God shall say, Amen and Amen. Now we will unmute everyone and then we will share the words of grace together. So please, let's unmute ourselves. So, shall we all share the words of grace together? Yeah. In the grace of Jesus Christ, love of God, the Holy Spirit, and be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, surely. Follow us all the days. Well, the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you all. God bless us all. God bless you. Yes, this is good. Oh, wonderful. Good to see you all of you.